These are the important documents that you need to ensure that you get accepted as a candidate for the GCC for Mines and Works. Hi guys, if you're a subscriber and are returning back, welcome back to the channel. If you're visiting the channel for the first time, hi, my name is Zanele. Press the like button below because what I'm going to share with you today is a summary and some insights on what you're needing to do for your documentation and submission pack so that you can be accepted for the GCC Mines and Works as a candidate. As you guys know, GCC is the Government Certificate of Competency, and you have a GCC only for mechanical and electrical engineers. So for industrial engineers, chemical engineers, civil engineers, unfortunately, you don't qualify to have a GCC as certified by the Department of Labor or the Department of Mineral Resources. You can register with EXA as a professional engineer. Check out a playlist that I have created on how to become a professional engineer. This particular series and this video will focus on the GCC for Mines and Works. I'll summarize very quickly the documentation that you're needing to submit when you send your application to the Department of Mineral Resources, when you're looking to apply as a candidate. Because only after you apply as a candidate and then gather all the experience will they then consider you to sit in on the two exams that you're needing to write for you to get your certificate of competency. So let's get the basics out of the way. Your documentation must be original copies that are certified at the South African Police Services. So make sure that your documentation is certified. You don't want to get rejected because you don't have certified documentation. So that's a quick one and an easy thing that you can do to make sure that your document is seen as viable, not thrown to the bottom of the stack. The second thing that you need to ensure is that your document certification or the copies that you submit are within three months. So don't send in documents or an ID copy that you got certified two years ago. So do make sure that you freshly certify your, your documentation and submit it within the three months before the lead time of the expiry passes through. The third thing is check and check and check again. So take your time, fill in your application properly, make sure that you've got the details correct. Your name on the application form should match your name and your ID. So you don't want small details and nuances causing you to have to resubmit and then extending the time in which you can complete your GCC in. So let's speak about the different forms and different documents that you need to submit. So the one is the application form. So there is an application form. It is available online. I'll leave a link below as to where you can find it. So you're needing to complete your application form as accurately as possible. It's almost the fundamental of what you're needing to submit with your entire pack. Then everything else is supporting documentation. The second thing is your ID or your passport. If you are applying whether you're South African or foreign national, make sure that you have your ID or a passport and that it's certified within the three months by, by the South African Police Services. You also need to have certified copies of your academic record. If it's been a while since you've been in tertiary or if it's been a while since you've gotten your qualification, do try and visit your institution and get certified copies. There is actually a website, I'll leave a link below, that does get and gather the transcripts for you from the different institutions. So I'll leave a link, but make sure that you do get certified copies of your academic record. Also important that you attach your qualification. So if you've got a degree, make sure that you have a certified copy of your degree attached. Or if you've got your certificates, have certified copies of your certificates attached. If you're applying as a foreign national, you do need a letter of evaluation of your qualifications by SACWA. So if you're needing to know more details about NQF levels in SACWA, check out previous videos I have posted. If you have an N6 qualification, you're needing a letter from the Department of Higher Education. So make sure that you're working ahead of time. If you're looking to apply, start as soon as possible and approach them so that you can get a letter so you can submit to, to, to the relevant parties. If you've got your trade, do attach your trade test certificates, make sure that they're certified. Remember to have your documentation certified. Remember that it must be within the three months. Do get it certified at the police station, so by the South African Police Services. And do make sure that you don't have any missing documentation because your application will not be considered. When you apply for this initial stage, it does not open the door or qualify you to write the two exams that will get you your GCC. What it does is it registers you as a candidate. So once you've gotten your letter of acceptance as a candidate, you then need to purchase an experiential book for you to capture all the information that is required by the Department of Rules Resources. And once you've completed this and submitted, then only do you get warranted the opportunity to sit in on the two exams. The one is practical and the other one is legal knowledge. And remember that you're needing to have two years post-graduation experience and depending on your qualification it could be two years all the way up to four years. Check out my previous video if you have a trade certification to see what years of experience that you're required to complete a particular trade certificate. 
So all in all, the quicker you start, the better. You may not know it, but you probably would have covered some of the experience and exposure already. So do visit the website so you get further detail or contact me as well and let me know what insights that you require. If you've got barriers and challenges to applying for your GCC, feel free to contact me, then I can help you navigate your way through. If you haven't liked this video yet, remember to press that like button. And remember to live your best life, learn as you grow, and lead for change. Shop.